Royalist Hall Syndrome, where I provide unique views, advice, and stories for you, the passive traveler. Today, I'm in Amsterdam, and as you can see behind me, I am with the famous Dutch windmills. I am doing a tour, kind of big, but this is a good opportunity for me to check out Amsterdam without having to figure out where to go and what to do. So this is allowing me to put my feet in the water for this city. So we're gonna check it out and you guys are coming along with me, so let's do it. fascinating thing that I learned about these windmills were that they were used to build the ships especially during the golden age of the Dutch Empire in which they pretty much dominated the seas even against the British which is saying a lot so that's very fascinating to know from what I've been told that these windmills are being decommissioned and replaced with better technology. People are not really using ships to go to war as much as the, as the old days so yeah, it's nice to know that history is still alive with this country and that keep the traditions. So we're going to continue on to see more of these windmills. town famous for the cheeses that are produced Dutch cheeses actually it's one of the biggest importer of cheese exporter of cheese excuse me in the world and yeah we're gonna try some cheese later on and I can't wait because I love cheese so we're gonna continue on and you're gonna see more of this beautiful city About to some, try some delicious cheese. Uh, looking forward to that. Might buy some cheese with some wine, the Dutch wine here. They're really good, so I'm really excited to try this out. As you can see, I bought a lot of cheese. Got a lot of cheese right here. But the one I got, made sure I get plenty of is uh, the marijuana cheese so you know it was delicious I'm very excited but yeah I, I think this is the most I've ever bought cheese before in my entire life I've never bought this much cheese you know I'm a lover of cheese yeah I've never bought this much cheese but you know when you're out here in the Netherlands you know why not As you can see, some of the houses are green. Some of them have tar. I think all of them, if not, if not all of them, most of them have tar. And in the old days, they took grass to paint their houses green because they didn't want black with tar. And obviously, tar was important because it was waterproof. They, the Dutch, would use it on the bottom of the ships to keep the bottom of the ship waterproof, which makes sense. 
so they applied it to their houses here because obviously the floods and stuff like that but now they just use it use regular paint but before then it was it was grass because paint was very expensive back then so it's just fascinating to see that they don't do that now they like I said they use paint today to do whatever to paint their houses green and to keep it colorful or whatever color that they want but they kind of do some of the old ways depending on what they feel like doing for tourism I think they do it for tourism but that's just fascinating to me a piece of history while traveling if you like this video, please hit like, subscribe, share this video to anyone who's interested in coming out to Amsterdam and the Netherlands. Check out my other videos. These videos are there to help you guys out for whatever reason, where, whether you're planning to go somewhere or figure out a place to do or see, check them out. I appreciate you guys for taking the time to check out this video and my channel. Your support is very helpful. Thank you very much.